Well, that's right. These are actions many at least suspected, but the details are shocking. It's likely to give ammo to America's enemies, but in the long run, will the disclosure hurt us or help us? In the popular Showtime series Homeland, a terrorist is stripped in a cold room and deprived of sleep as part of a CIA interrogation. I think it's a very good depiction of uh, some of the enhanced interrogation tactics. Longtime federal counterterrorism investigator Fred Burton is vice president of intelligence at Austin-based geopolitical intelligence firm Stratfor. Most people will tell you anything when they incur pain. And I don't think that they're very successful. It's never been my experience that they've actually worked. It's the same conclusion reached by the so-called torture report, released this by the Democratic-led Senate similar. Intelligence Committee, which gruesomely details interrogation techniques conducted by the CIA on terrorists captured after the September 11th attacks. In a statement today, Texas Senator John Cornyn said enhanced interrogation techniques saved American lives, and by making the details public, the American people and our allies across the globe are less safe today than they were before. American facilities around the world are on high alert, and Burton says the disclosures could also hurt the intelligence intelligence services of other nations that work discreetly alongside the U.S. How many of them will choose not to help us going forward? Oh, how many of them will remember, yes, the Americans promised this would never be made public. Now look at what's happened. The positive side of the report is that we're the only society in the world that releases this kind of information, that talks about this. We're an open society. Author and Professor Jeremy Suri is a renowned expert in global politics. He says it's important America distinguishes itself from its enemies. We want to show that we're a civilized, humane society. We want to encourage people to want to work with us, and we want to encourage people to surrender. If they know they're going to be tortured, they're not going to surrender. What endangers Americans is not the truth but the wrongdoing that occurred here. Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett says he's disappointed none involved have been prosecuted, but he hopes that the disclosure of it will prevent this type of thing from ever occurring again.